Добрый день вам в хату, брательники и поддельники. If you don't know yet, I will introduce myself. I'm a brother from Grim Hostel. I'm the Grim Priester. From the Brothers Grim that you have probably known since the childhood. I already told you in the previous video about how we got to America from Severodpizdensk. How my brother left without the most necessary things, without vodka and without soldered mother's pickles. How he fell into delirium and began to have direct dialogues with the God. Add a drop of lavender to your bath, and soon you will soak yourself calm. One day God put his hand on his sweaty forehead, announced him as a thief in the law, and sent him a link on a Facebook. Since then, several years have passed, my brother became famous, bought the scars from Louis Vuitton, started again a regular alcohol consumption. And everything would be fine if he wouldn't constantly spoke quotes. When you're feeling under pressure, do something different. Roll up your sleeves or eat an orange. For example, if you ask him the simple question, what are you going to do today? He answers, I'm blessed and today I will focus on all what is good in my life. Of course, I understand that the gift of slowly reading out well-known truths, looking straight into the people's screen with the faded from binge drinking eyes is a gift from God. But now it's impossible to just talk to him in a brotherly way. For example, yesterday I told him let's go to the sauna to steam a little, have a beer. He told me I feel like I need a day off from reality, a day without people, problems and the thoughts that run through my mind. And when I came home drunk the other day, he suddenly tells me this. Falling down is an accident, but staying down is a fucking choice. First I wanted to punch him in the face. But here you go again. He tells me another quote. Forgive me if I act like I don't need anyone. I went through a lot of things alone. Be on the lookout for things that make you laugh. If you see nothing worth laughing at, pretend you see it, then laugh. It comes to the point of absurdity. I asked him to give me a remote controller, but he was like, life has no remote, get up and change it yourself. Apparently predicting in advance what emotions he can cause in others. He wrote on the door to his bedroom this, when you're angry, be silent. It is especially difficult for his wife in Severopizdensk. She cannot understand what he means by saying, if someone is stupid enough to walk away from you, be smart enough to let them leave. Now I pray to the same God that that he finally shut Andrusha up. And although I, unlike my brother, did not get drunk until psychosis, my quotes too are taken from all available sources, are presented as my own conclusions and sound no less convincing. But for some reason, my YouTube channel so far consists only of my friends from my childhood and views only from my mom. And of course, the same Andrusha brother himself. Probably he is blessed. What consumes your mind controls your life. What are you looking at? Have you ever noticed a calm person with a loud voice? Try and speak softly once in a while. <laughs> Thanks a lot for watching. Like if you like it, subscribe and see you in the next episode. Давай.